and offering quality products and services. We also looked around at what regional competitors and global players in the same business were doing. In fact, we were inspired by the developments in Kenya and South Africa. We also cast our eyes even wider to look at the United Kingdom, the United States, and Australia. As a member of the World Association of Alive, with the debate going on around the future of the newspaper, we were convinced that the newspaper is here to stay, as our decision to invest in a new printing place and to expand our reach across the country. And today we have suburban newspapers, we have new products that are looking at different sectors of the market. But we had many questions. What will newspapers look like by 2020? What kind of content will be in demand? What size will they be free or have a cover price? Will printed newspapers morph into digital products? I think a lot of us today are accessing our media through our digital products that we don't buy the actual printed paper. How will journalists tell stories? How will journalistic storytelling be transformed? These questions help us position ourselves as the dominant media player that we are today, with our newspaper still by far the best. We were confident that our newspapers would continue to dominate. We did not sit on our laurels. We knew that the media was no longer just about newspapers and print products, but that we needed to move in a decisive manner into digital products and broadcasting. We declared that within a period of five years, we would become a fully integrated media company with a growing digital and broadcasting footprint. Content is our lifeblood, and good journalism is our business. All we needed to do was to take advantage of our content generation skills and create a content factory to produce content that is relevant, shareable, participatory, personalized, and portable. Today, I'm happy to say that our content will reach you wherever you are using a device of your choice. Our journey into broadcasting began with Star FM, as the chairman alluded to, which became the first commercial radio station to go on air in Zimbabwe. The station has since brought a harvest of awards locally and internationally in recognition of the excellent work that Comfort for Fun, our GM, and his team are doing. So we launched them on the FM today. We have no doubt that it will be a resounding success. If the feedback we are getting from the market is anything to go by, the people of Mutare have already embraced it. But let me hasten to say that the best is yet to come. Our decision to come to make this place. We see a lot of potential for this province and its people. After all, this is known as the Diamond Hub of Zimbabwe, uh, Kungoda. We thought we would also prosper with uh, some of those diamonds in Maria Post, but it seems as if uh, that prosperity is still to come. But we've been uh, in the diamond and what this represents to our nation. After all, this is known as the Diamond Hub of Zimbabwe. The project site, the cultural wealth, extensive tea states, timber forest, the most scenic tourist attractions, car assembly, thermal projects, a testimony of the economic giant province portends. Mutare is a vibrant city, and we are here to celebrate its success in song and dance, and to offer a platform to the people and leadership to talk to each other. We are also convinced that we will be able to make a good return on the investment that we made as a company. That is, that is why our chairman and the board is here. That we just don't want to look good in Mutare, or to please the people of Mutare with a new radio station, but that it should make money and a good return for the investors we have, uh, who trust that we invest their money wisely. We believe we have the best team driving Diamond FM with 100% local voices, articulating local issues, cultural norms and values, as well as providing entertainment that resonates with the people of Mutari. Also important to note is that we have a converged content team that generates content not only for Manika Post and Diamond FM, but also feeds into all our platforms nationally. Zimbabwe is a listed company, and we have a responsibility, as the chairman says, to our shareholders to make this project work. With the kind of buy-in we have been getting so far, we believe we are on the right track. Let me thank our Minister of Information, Media, Broadcasting Services once again, Dr. Christopher Mshowe, for the government's commitment to freeing the airwaves and allowing Zimbabwe media companies to spread their wings and flourish across different media platforms. 
We thank you. We are indeed grateful for the licenses we have been granted to spread our business tentacles into the broadcasting space. We don't take this for granted. We are fully aware of the responsibility that we carry in defending the national interest. Although our journey as Zim Papers started over 100 years ago, as a colonial country in British settler information interests, we have successfully transformed our course to tell the story of an independent and proud Zimbabwe on our growing platforms in printed newspapers and digital media and now on radio. For us, the journey continues as we explore new opportunities in all areas of media. In line with our five-year plan, television will be our next big venture. And we have already started investing in human, financial, and material capital in this area. We continue to invest in research and development and have set up an innovation, innovation teams and software developers who are working flat out to ensure that we continue to be relevant today and in the future. Let me end by thanking our bankers and with us this morning for believing in our products. Your faith in us is not misplaced. It is now my pleasure to present the Diamond FM story on video. And the next is Dr. Matsingira, uh, who is also in our HR committee. Bishop Mananga, you don't need to drop in. And who are the Diamond FM? Who are not in a matter of board? And who are in charge of ethics? Can I check out the last thing? And who are not in the Queen and Soro? Mr. Felix Moyo, a board member, is Bessie Blauer. And then the chairman of uh, already met him. The other board members are not here with us. Um, Mr. Rupert was the chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. The Honorable Minister of Media and Broadcasting Services, Honorable Dr. The Honorable Minister of State for Manikana Province, Honorable Mandi Chimene. The Provincial Administrator for Manikana, Mr. Fugai Mbeta. The Sim Paper CEO, Mr. Nigeteke. The Board Chairman, Sim Papers, Mr. Deoma Lupepe. The Permanent Secretary, the Minister of Media and Broadcasting Services, Koma Chris, Karamba, in all very great present. <laughs> Apologies, I'm making you, Chris. I say you name, sorry. Pemse, <laughs> George Karamba. <laughs> Thank you very much for affording me this opportunity to be amongst you today. As the first citizen of the city of Mutare, representing the whole of Mutare, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the city members board and the entire staff of transforming you from a big media printing giant and to you coming into broadcasting. It's not an easy thing to achieve, but uh, the efforts that you have put and the achievements that you have attained so far as the rest of Mutare, we really applaud you. And we also applaud you for dignity. The coming in of Diamond FM to Mutare, it has changed a lot for the rest of Mutare. And I believe most radio stations are now struggling now to get air views from the people of Manikale. Because each and every vehicle that I go into, they are listening to Diamond FM. So Diamond FM has taken over. So as the mayor of the city, I would like to thank you so much for thinking about us and also to thank you highly that the way we have been doing business in the city of Mutari has changed drastically since the coming in of the FM. I have been afforded the opportunity to be live on air, communicating with the residents of Mutari. My honorable minister of the province has been there, communicating with the residents of Mutari and in my as a whole. And several business persons from the city, they have been live on air, streamlining whatever business opportunities that they have within their businesses. And also Diamond FM, the coming in of Diamond FM, you have improved the way our local artists have been performing. For several years, musicians and the best broadcasters in Zimbabwe. The station manager, Mr. Diana Gabiero, born and bred in Mutare, the entire crew I was going through the conference that I got, they are all from Mutare. And I managed to see one of our hip hop artists, Flex, is from Mutare. 
So many people in Zimbabwe didn't know about all these guys. But the coming in of them on FM, I think you have played a huge part even in improving the economic situation of Punjabi as a whole. Lastly, Mr. Chairman, which is the Manika Post building. And as the mayor of Punjabi, I'm really delighted about it. But I'm also tempted now to increase the rental charges of this building so that it befits the outlook that is there. A city of Mbele, we cannot continue to charge you with this infrastructure. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I think I'm going to have a mind job. Let's brace ourselves uh, for increases there, in as far as rentals are concerned. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, that's the mayor there for Mutari, uh, Mr. Tatita Namalai. And uh, we'd also like to inform you that uh, this broadcast is also broadcasting live on Star FM Zimbabwe. Uh, that's our big brother. We also are video streaming live. By yeah, now. technology. Technology. Don't you put any live. But can I tell you something? You know, the word diamond that comes up from the Greek word Adamas. He's right. Invincible and lasting forever. Uh, Mr. CEO. Zip papers will last forever. Through Diamond FM will go a very long way. Be rest assured, no doubt. True that. Sure. True that. Oh, yeah. And uh, indeed, uh, like the mayor has said, that uh, Diamond FM has really changed. It's Diamond. changed a lot. It has upgraded a lot. It has. In terms of social work. Oh, yeah. My message is Chaiwo Katira Diamond FM. No, so I put it. Agenda I had to send you a good one to move up and be a boy. Asikuti, tirikuto chinja, my yes. lives evano. And uh, that's one of the most important things uh, that Zim Paper seeks to do, to upgrade the Eastern Highlands of Zimbabwe. Absolutely. All right, without was Yes. <laughs>
assim para não ajudar, já morri de casa. Coitê, para mais sair, sair. Manica vem de dia e de manhã. Agora não é doce, aí já acabou a gente de manhã, de manhã. Para nada, de manhã não foi. E o nevinho. Esse é mal e é na o. Ma, tipo na chai men, pane ma board member, pane bishop, e na no anda se, CEO, mas está matar o rebota, ali já, isso é o que nós vamos fazer, a gente vai se tirar do nosso corpo, do nosso corpo, e nós vamos chegar até lá. Asi asa anga sata tao ruma ni mko ma George na kupopa instead ni charity. Kwa kile si dada shiriki kwa kila kila kila. Ne na kwa adui saba sana minister kuna kwa afana ni zazi zani la minister. Ajiti ya paka tu na director kula kwa ni awa kuluma kuna mti la ni 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 si mtu ni jam. Minha filha, Ana Baba Nana, né? A capena o mês. Tu já arranjou Diamond e Film? Ele cunho com uma como cunho com manica de quando está mais. Só que ainda está manica até a hora de chegar às vezes, até a hora de chegar às vezes. A gente jogou com manita, com manita. Ino tuwe tira abe anare, kutumza zaidi jipenda kufungi la kutindi risa maziri kama kando febra febra, niro niro wewe uno sana la febra na nopo chiti tauri chekuno, lasi uno sana wapo vuda dani chuo, inini nduguda dani kuamba programi ni kesi kutwa ya kambi rubi. Why, as a shisham is a jobel, Nebuti, near the zins and cook of Voguma Bazua Nika, if I have a Guma Bazua Living Euro, if I have a Jenge Uno, Guma Bazua, just a Zuta in the moon. Can you chat like a Juno? Come on, one I pay a piece of the chicken and chicken. Diamond, Ibuwe. Sandi chimo chilo na buwe chayo. Ana amu shongai pula njilo mwishi. Kana kumbo zia mdo ufule shingi nene. Kana lekule kubuza pamba. Zima mare zima foundation. Kwa ki sandi zo zima. Ehi chela shi jina baya ikanya. Mwa jina mwya mwya mare mwya. Saka njilo mbo shangu kwa mshu. Kwa mza na wangu kumbo mza shwa. E kumbo marangi. E a um convite que ele me mandou, ele mandou agora um dinheiro. O valor da discussão é de cada dia, mas ele é muito legal. Mas ele está levando o mané um de vez. Anyway, it's a good day today for us as Manigaland. We are very happy. I'm just and simply displaying my happiness to you. For those who are not Manigalanders, I only wish you. And just feel feeling as many galenas. And as some as we do on a good day, we are putting this tradition. We are proud of being the first to have a radio station, a provincial one, for the people, by the people, of that province. We have not imported anyone. I'm still to check. Whether it is everyone who is Manigali. 
anyone in this program who is not, please apply for transfer. <laughs> because very soon I will be writing to you to leave and be replaced by one of our own. I know I'm sure we will not allow that. Because the let me start by welcoming you, Bigger and Poor. <coughs> Welcome to Manigale. Today is a very good day for us in Manigale and here because we are now officially, officially being given this program. Sakasi Chibika Mapoto. Tichindo Broadcaster Shemapoto. Tisatita Chatiswa. Ne ministry. Asinasi. In New England, the kiss may you may the groom kiss the bride. Nasa no kiss and a kiss and a mono because it's official. Mutare is a city that is desperately in need of investment. Desperately in need of investment. So, having such an investment in Mutare to me and the rest of our people here in Mutare is a milestone in this is just a joke or just another program. It is a serious investment to our pro province. It is good that Zim Papers has shown confidence in the city.